This movie shows the extraction of a broken tooth with an implant being placed at the same time as the extraction, as well as grafting. The gum is reflected and the tooth is carefully removed without damaging more bone. The void created by the tooth root is now ready to be prepared. An initial drill is used to decide on the depth and angulation, followed by increasing size drills to slowly prepare the area. The implant fixture is then placed into this prepared site. Note that there is a bone defect on the one side. If this defect is small enough, it can also be corrected at the same time as the implant placement. Bone or bone substitute from various sources can be placed in the defect. The cover screw is inserted into the implant to cover the internal threads and a resorbable membrane can be used to cover the area to help with healing. The flap is repositioned and sutured into place. A provisional denture can also be inserted at this time to temporarily replace the missing tooth during this healing stage. The sutures are resorbed or removed and the membrane underneath the gum tissue will resorb with time. The bone defect will also be corrected by the patient's own bone replacing the grafted bone. At this time the gums are once again retracted and the cover screw is replaced with a healing cap. The healing cap helps the gums heal and allows access to the implant fixture for restoration. The gums are repositioned and sutured into place. The provisional denture can still be used at this time. The sutures are removed or they will resorb. After a healing period, the healing cap is replaced with a post and core and crown. This combination of techniques may not always be possible and can only be determined at the time of the tooth extraction.